Let's go get some in and out Burger. Do you guys have in and out Burger where you're at? I know they're mostly across the country. Um, our in and out Burgers never don't have a line. I don't know if that's the case where you're at, but I'm getting in line right now. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Can I get a... Uh... I'm going for the pink lemonade because I don't like the zero sugar lemonades. I love lemonade, like love lemonade and limeade. While many, many companies make excellent pre-made and uh, preset products for us to use uh, in miniatures and dioramas as well as other art mediums, I'm all about trying to find the best ways of being efficient with my cash as well as finding ways of creating things on my own and, and being as resourceful as possible. And so even though I like to shop at like Home Depot and Lowe's, sometimes I like to come to places like this. Habitat for Humanity. I don't know if you guys have one in your area, but it's basically recycled construction materials and you can find things that you might pay a dollar, two dollar, three, four dollars for at Home Depot or Lowe's here for pennies on the dollar or a few cents or maybe 25 cents. So let's go see what they have that we might be able to use in a diorama. These actually look like the shutters that I donated to them a couple years ago and they're still selling off slowly by slowly piece by piece. I'm a sucker for gears and pulleys. I have a few giant gears at my shop. I'm also a sucker for hoses and tubing, but this is a little bit too big for dios, maybe for cosplay. I'm also a sucker for dials and gauges. Five bucks, two bucks, five bucks. That's pretty cool. If they were brass, I might buy a bunch of them, but I actually have about 30 brass ones that I got out of the dumpster. <laughs> Cheap PVC and PEX pipe. This stuff's great. I love DeWalt tools. I'd be so tempted to buy this just to restore it. Not like I have time. I don't know what these are, but they look cool. That's a buy for me, 100%, five bucks. One to one scale sinks.
I would buy some of these, but I actually have a two buckets of these at my warehouse already. Here we go. I already have I already have a lot of these sort of standard pieces like elbows and in couplers so I'll look through these to find sort of unique looking pieces that I don't have like this is somewhat unique looking and I'll buy you know a few of those at a time um, ones that uh, I haven't caught my eye before at like Home Depot or Lowe's but 25 cents for these is great because these at the Home Depot and Lowe's range anywhere from 80 cents to two or three bucks a piece so Finding a place like this where they've got used ones is an excellent source of saving cash on detailed parts. Like that. It's got a unique looking grip on it. That's cool. Clear molded piece. It's a wild looking piece. I have no idea what this is from. I don't think I've ever come across one of these before in my looking at stuff. And this just kind of screams spaceship, doesn't it? They even have board games and poozles. <gasps> Spaceballs. You tell me. Anybody need a snare drum stand? So I ended up buying about 40 bucks worth of stuff. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to see what in the world I do with all of this. But I plan on doing a live build for possibly uh, some spaceships or some miniature vehicles, just for the fun of it, doing a uh, sort of a make it as we go piece. And um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I already have a lot of cool stuff in my shop as well, as far as Greeblies, but I came in here to show you guys what you can do with uh, thrift store construction upcycling type places and uh, how you can save money on larger pieces of PVC if you'd like to buy them. Because if I bought all this as it is at like Home Depot or Lowe's, well over $300, I guarantee you well over $300, especially some of these metal pieces, this leather stuff, this car filter thing that I bought, uh, stuff that I know I'll use later on other projects that's gonna go into my piles of junk. But for sure, this would be, you know, hundreds of dollars um, and I was able to, fork over about 40 bucks for this i was able to use tip money that i got on my regular job to buy this stuff so yeah gotta diversify i was born and raised here and i have never eaten at the boat shaped restaurant el largo i must try this i got dared um not that you should be doing dares kids or at any time but I got dared to drink uh, an entire liter of lemon juice when I was in my junior year of high school at the trade school that I went to. And uh, this kid, I don't know why, but he had a liter of lemon juice. And he's like, I bet you won't drink this. And I'm like, I bet I will. And he's all like, I'll give you 10 bucks if you drink it. And I chugged it in like three seconds. I felt fine the rest of the day. Probably destroyed my bowels. But. Do 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 do